Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'll teach you how to submit form in ASP.NET Core Razor Pages. So let's begin our video tutorial. First I'll add a model class to our project. So I'll click on the Solution Explorer. Then I'll select class. I'll be giving it a suitable name such as person model class. Then I'll click on add. Now I'll add some properties to it. Now here you will notice that I am making use of an attribute bind property. It is used to map request parameters, which means let's say you have a text box and on button click you want to fetch the value of that particular text box. So you can create a property and then map it to the text box using the bind property attribute. And in the text box, you will specify the name attribute and set its value to the name of the property. So for example, here there is a property name person ID. So the text box name attribute value will be also person ID. Before moving ahead, I would like to inform you that an article has already been posted on this topic. The link for the article and the code sample are available in the description. Also, if you need any further help, feel free to ask on forums. The link for the forum is also available in the description. Finally, I would like to request you to please subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon. As you can see, I have added two properties, first name and last name, both are string properties. Now let's move to the razor page. Now I am inheriting the tag helper classes. And here we'll start by adding a form. So the very first attribute is method. We'll set it as post as we are doing form submission. Now I'm adding a table element in which I'll add the fields and also the button. So the very first field is a text box for first name. I'm setting the ID for the text box. Now I'm setting the name attribute for the text box. Here the name attribute is very important because on the server side that is inside the controller, this particular field value will be accessed using the name attribute value. So the second field is last name. And here also I'll give it a unique ID and a unique name attribute value. Now I'm adding a submit button and for that I'm making use of input element and I'm setting the type as submit. Now I'm making use of ASP page handler attribute and I'm setting its value as submit. And this particular attribute is used for specifying the handler method. Now let's move to the index model class. So here I am creating a public property. As you have seen earlier, we have specified this particular class as the model for our razor page. That means whatever properties you create here can be inherited inside the razor page. That means if I create a property name here, I can easily use it in my razor page. This is quite again similar to the web forms where in our code behind class, if you create a protected or a public property, we can access it in our ASPX page. Here I am adding a new handler method on post submit 
here on post prefix is required before the method name and it is not required to specify in the razor page inside the ASP page handler attribute. This particular handler method will accept an object of person model class. Now here inside the on post submit handler method and I am setting the value of the first name and last name into name property. Now again let's move back to the razor page. So the name which we have set inside the on post submit handler method, we will be displaying it here. I am displaying the name property and similar to MVC, I am making use of model object. So at the rate model dot name will display the string message. So this completes our application. Let's run it and see it in action. So here I am adding my first name and then the last name. Now I am clicking on the submit button. As you can see, my name is being displayed. So today we learned how to submit form in ASP.NET Core Razor Pages. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. And don't forget to click the bell icon. Goodbye.